The dangers of exposure to asbestos are well documented. So while the personal protective equipment required for working with asbestos might look more at home in a biotech laboratory, it is required for your protection. The selection and use of personal protective equipment, PPE, should always be based on a risk assessment as determined by a competent person. The PPE items you should consider whenever you're working with asbestos include disposable coveralls, disposable overshoes, a respirator suitable for asbestos work, and disposable vinyl gloves. Let's look at each of the items in turn. First, the coveralls. You need these because asbestos fibres can collect in the fabric weave of your regular clothes. The disposable coveralls have very small pores. This means they can get quite hot while working, so it's best to wear minimal clothing under them. The coverall should be made from material capable of providing adequate protection against fibre penetration. Fibres which penetrate a coverall and reach the wearer's skin and hair may be difficult to remove by showering. With time, these particles are shed with the skin and hair and may be inhaled. While no specific standard has been specified for asbestos coveralls in Australia, the Health and Safety Executive in the United Kingdom specifies type 5 coveralls be used for all asbestos work. To use them, step into the legs of the coveralls, pull them up and then zip them all the way to the top. Correct fit is important. Wear one size too big. This will help to prevent ripping at the seams. The arms and legs should fully extend along the limbs to ensure proper skin coverage. If the cuffs are loose, seal them with tape. Avoid wearing a long sleeve shirt. These are difficult to cover properly. It's also important that the hood is big enough to cover your hair completely. Pull it into place after you have your respirator on. Now the overshoes which are worn if your boots have woven material or if they have laces. This is because asbestos fibres can collect in the weave or in boot lace eyelets. When wearing overshoes, please be careful as some disposable overshoes may cause a slipping risk. If you do not wear overshoes, you must decontaminate safety footwear before you leave the asbestos work area for any reason or seal them in asbestos double bags for use only on the next asbestos removal or maintenance task. Alternatively, work boots that cannot be effectively decontaminated must be disposed of as asbestos waste at the end of the job. There are a variety of respirators available for asbestos work and it's important to select the correct one. For small asbestos removal jobs, two types of respirators are appropriate the half-face rubber mask with particle filter and the disposable half-face respirator. Disposable respirators suitable for asbestos are called particulate respirators. They're available in two separate levels of protection, P1 or particulate 1 and P2. Class P1 respirators are intended for use against particulate sizes most commonly encountered in industry. Class P2 are intended for use against both mechanically and thermally generated particulates. For most work with non-friable asbestos, for example, removal of asbestos cement wall sheeting, P1 or P2 half-face particulate respirators are adequate. For all works with friable asbestos, full-face respirators with Class P3 particulate filter cartridge is the minimum respiratory protection requirement. Class P3 are intended for use against all particulates including highly toxic materials. If work with asbestos requires the use of other chemicals which are hazardous, such as solvents, additional respiratory protection will be required. This may require the use of gas filters in combination with P2 or P3 particulate filter cartridges. 
It's important that a respirator's nose piece is shaped to suit the user and the seal around the face is as tight as possible to ensure no air can leak in at the sides. Once used, disposable respirators are to be discarded as asbestos waste every time a worker exits the asbestos work area. The half-face rubber respirator is non-disposable and requires a P2 filter cartridge and disposable pre-filter inserted into the front of the unit. Ensure straps are tight around the head to ensure an adequate seal. To test the mask's effectiveness, the blank disc provided by the manufacturer can be placed over the filter area. Breathe in. Because the airflow is restricted by the disc, breathing in will suck the mask tight to your face. If the suction effect does not happen, the mask is not properly sealed to your face. Importantly, users should be clean shaven to ensure the mask seals properly. Respirators should be issued to individuals for their exclusive use. Once the mask is in place and secure, pull up the hood of your coveralls. Finally, put on the disposable gloves. These will protect your hands from cuts and abrasions. They will also help reduce the risk of transfer of asbestos fibres from hands to breathing zone during asbestos work. Protective gloves can be unsuitable if dexterity is required. Just to review some of the key points with correct use of PPE, the respirator should seal tightly around the face at all times. The respirator must be fitted under the hood of the coveralls. Disposable coveralls and overshoes are flammable, so isolate electrical items and avoid using hot processes while suited up.